return. But you have news. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. 
I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the Landsmeet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. A fractured nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude, that everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Loghain might be. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde.